Hello, our travels have taken us to the desert. We're at the King Fahd Stadium in Riyadh. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always, is Lixon. And coming right up, we have live action from the Saudi Pro League. Every reason to believe this will be exciting, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coaches' plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he's added goals to his wizardry. Will he get another goal today, a brace in his last match? This is how it looks for the home side. Fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup. Yeah, that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them. Really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball. This is how the visitors will set up today. Now, there has been some discussion about their style of play. Some would argue it's on the negative side. What realistically should we expect, Lee? Yeah, they do tend to collapse when they don't have the ball. They sit off the opposition, almost inviting pressure onto them before trying to open up when they do have the ball. I don't think we'll see any changes today in that approach. Petros. Al Ghanam, Al Amri. That's a well struck pass. Amrabat. Petros. Al Ghanam. A danger here as he runs at them. Very quick thinking there. Youssef El Yebli. This looks promising. Can he give them the lead? He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game is important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. Well, it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Oh, nice ball. But attacking possibilities. Chance to play it in. Youssef El Yebli. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Kalim Highland. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And the assistant referee has raised his flag. Offside.
Petros and Hamdala. That's a lovely ball. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And there to intervene. Crossing possibilities. Al Ghanam. Looks promising this. Makes the move to the inside. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Is it going to end up being productive for them? El Yebli. And the goal kick is the outcome. El Yebli still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it in possession to give them the lead maybe in it goes the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic Well, here's the replay. Great disguise on the pullback cross, and a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop this. It's lovely football. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. The opening goal of the game then. Al Ghanam. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Now sliding in field. Can he finish? Cuts it back. A oh, tremendous block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Good looking ball. Not showing good patience. Getting the better of his opponent. Big chance to get them on terms. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece. Al Shamari. Kalim Highland. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Highland. Renato Chavez. Well, that is how to run at defenders. They've won back possession.
Al Ganam. Al Gamdi. Effective looking pass. He knows what he's doing when it comes to blocking. Al Ganam. Real danger. Amrabat. Well, it's one pass after another. Can they get in behind them? The first half here comes to an end. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, he's been involved in most of the positive things in that first half, and obviously getting that goal has given his team a huge boost for this second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Fabio Abreu. Oh, nice ball. And the decision offside here. The hosts have really controlled possession, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. A chance to whip it in. Really good high press. Fruitful looking attack. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Petros. Petros and space for the cross well they keep working away looking for passing lanes well they've lost possession of the ball Petros. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Danger averted. Al Ganam. Can he play it in? Oh, a tremendous block. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. He's driven in the corner. Well cleared away. Al Amri. An attack full of promise. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. El Yebli, Mohamed Raihi, Fabio Abreu, 
Youssef El Yebli. It will be claimed by the keeper. Youssef El Yebli. Well, they keep passing away. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick. And then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Unable to keep the ball that time. Well, disappointing end to the move. Al Ghanam. It might be on for them. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Counter-attacking very much an option. Raihi. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. A big miss. They should be two in front. Well, that could be the game right there. What an opportunity to go two up. Al Ghanam, Al Amri. Well, they haven't been at their best today, that's for sure, but this game is far from over, and the fans are certainly reminding them of that. You've got to think there'll be one more chance or two. On the attack in the closing phase. What can he do from here? Untidy in possession. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? And options in the centre. Youssef El Yebli. Real danger. Dangerous looking attack. And able to close down the shots. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. <laughs> Substitution time it is. So the corner played into the box. Can they get in behind them? And now passing it through. Couldn't grab hold of it. One minute remaining. Well, high marks for that pass. And delivered towards the back post. 
Not getting a strong fist on the ball. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Well, nobody likes losing, Derek, but when it's such fine margins, it makes it hard to take. Still some positives, though, and they will regroup and surely go again. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp, constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.